Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm going to walk you through a new model view feature that was added a few months ago, which is the relationship properties pane, as you can see over here. This is replaced, or at least a new option to edit relationship properties in conjunction with the traditional pop up window. So we're going to go ahead and hop into Power BI, walk through how to implement this, turn on this preview feature if necessary, and also explore how the features differ in this version versus the traditional edit relationship properties pop up. So starting from the model view, to edit a relationship, at least historically, we would double click on the relationship to get a window like this that would give us both the tables and columns to use as the key between the two tables plus a three row preview of the data between them to ensure that the data will at least potentially map plus configuration options below. Now, if we are to select any one of these, we get the options over here to get additional properties for any of the relationship sections in here. Now, before I get into the detail of how the design of this is implemented, let's first ensure that this is turned on. So if you do not see this yet, depending on when you're watching this video, make sure to come to Options and Settings and Options, come over to Preview Features, and just ensure that Relationship Editing in the Properties pane is turned on. Now, with that being turned on, when you select that relationship and get the pane up here, you get a similar option to choose the table and column, the cardinality as well, plus the other corresponding table and column to link the two of them, whether or not this relationship is active, and the cross filter direction, plus the option to open the relationship editor. Now notice there might be a few things missing here. Opening this up, we do not have the option to apply security filter in both directions in the pane or assume referential integrity. So these are two things that are still limited only for configuration in the relationship editor window at the moment. Though I do assume that at some point they will add it to the properties pane in the near future. But we can see as one other benefit, if I actually multi-select all of these relationship lines here, everything is grayed out except for make this relationship active. If I toggle this, select apply changes, we get a new feature where we can turn on or off multiple relationships all at the same time, which was not previously possible. But overall, this is a nice incremental change forward in terms of some of the feature functionality. I like to see a lot of these configurations moving towards panes rather than pop-up windows in the relationship view. So this is a nice addition to see. I do hope that that referential integrity and the RLS configurations for security direction does eventually get added to the pane to make it a complete editor from that area. But overall, it's a nice direction to see for Microsoft. And I think it's something that you'll also find useful as well. So don't forget to check that out in the options and click on that to turn it on. But otherwise, if you liked this video, as always, don't forget to add any comments or suggestions down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on some of these topics. Otherwise, don't forget to check out some of our, vi uh, our videos here in the upper left. And as always, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, share as you desire, and I will see you all in my next video.